you're 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 a veterinary nurse. You work in practice. Uh, you're a practice manager, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, I am. <laughs> right. So you've do, you've done all roles in the veterinary in the veterinary business. Yeah, I started about ten years ago now, um, or actually eleven years now. I think this year um as an animal attendant so I was just the little junior in the back corner you know cleaning up the cat carriers and um sweeping the floor and not doing too much um and I did that for about four years throughout high school um Mm -hmm. so in in Australia I I don't know if you have a similar thing but when you're in year 10 so about 14 to nine months um you go out and you do work experience so basically Mm -hmm. unpaid work for about two weeks um and Obviously, at that point, I was already obsessed with the vet industry and wanted to work in the vet industry. Um, so I went out, I did my placement, um, I got a job after that. I worked for four years as an animal attendant and then I went to uni, did my bachelor's degree in animal and veterinary bioscience. I did placement with that. I got a job as a veterinary nurse and that was sort of the turning point because at that point, up until then, I was like, I'm going to be a vet. That's what I want to do. I love that like all of that I'm going to be a vet and then my mum turned to me one day and she was like you know every day that you come home all you talk about is what the nurses are doing and I was like what do you mean and she's like she's like you haven't told me one thing that the vets are doing I don't think you actually are interested in anything that the vets are doing um and I was like yeah you're exactly right like I'm I love doing the nursing stuff I love you know caring for the animals going out sitting with them you know recovering them from anesthetic feeding them you know we had exotics there so I would sit there and you know give them critical care and all sorts of stuff and I was like oh uh yeah you're right um so after uni I went and got my certificate for in veterinary nursing and then since then I've been working in practice um and then I've moved through from veterinary nurse student to veterinary nurse to practice manager now um and now I'm doing this with uh (laughs) nutrition rbn as well because i just nutrition has always been my main interest um and veterinary nursing has just been the vehicle for that (laughs) so so turning the clock back then you you just Mm. dropped the hint there that you you always wanted to be a vet Mm. so when 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 did that happen and what was it that made you think that you were i have to say hats off to your mum because she's obviously spotted she obviously spotted the thing that you'd be climbing the wrong ladder yeah, exactly right. She was exactly route. right. Yeah, so I um I mean the main thing I had always said from a very young age that um I wanted to be a scientist. That was what it started as. And then by the time I got to 13, so I was in year 7 at the time. Um our cat at the time got blocked. Um and I had never heard of that before. Um, my mum rang the vet and she was like, I-, I don't know what's happening with my cat. He's just screaming all the time. He's going back and forth to the litter tray. I don't know what's wrong with him. This is not like him. And the clinic was like, take your cat here immediately. Like he's probably blocked. And we were all just like, okay, I don't know what that means, but all right. Um, so we took him there and he ended up staying in hospital for three days with a catheter in. And um, he just, it, it, that was kind of the point where I was like, um I was really really interested in how they were fixing him if that makes sense Mm -hmm. and then Mm -hmm. when they sent him home with CD they were just like yeah and then he needs to be on this forever um this will fix the problem and it'll never happen again and I was like so you're telling me that this magical food is going to fix everything in this cat and they were like yeah pretty much just don't change it and I was like oh my god that is so cool um and my dad turned to me and he was like you know you want to be a scientist well these guys are scientists like they're you know scientists for animals um you'd probably want to do that um and I was like yeah that is what I want to do like I want to work with animals I find this all of this is so cool like they give me injections they're giving me like medication they're figuring out what's wrong um yeah it was super interesting to me and then yeah and then that was from that point on, I was like, okay, I want to be a vet. That's that's what I want to do. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. And and has it uh, has it been what you thought it would? Yeah, I think um, she definitely, uh, my mum was definitely right when she said that, yeah, I don't think 
you really want to be a vet. Like I did obviously apply to vet school, um, but I, I, they said to me, they were like, oh, if you reapply next year because you missed one subject, blah, 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 blah. Um, like I basically just had to fulfill a few boxes to tick and then I could get in. Um, and that was the sort of turning point where my mum was like, yeah, but you want to be a vet nurse. Like, I just know that that's what you want to do. Um, yeah. And then from that point on, I was like, just so fulfilled. Like, I just, I just love my job. 